Good morning, boys and girls. You are welcome to this session. Perhaps this is the penultimate session of the fourth module that we are doing in Common Course A01 Transactions Essential English Language Skills. Today we are continuing from where we stopped in the last session, namely part two of this module, namely academic communication. In this frame, last time we were last two sessions were on two other academic communication sections, namely uh, discussion skills, I talked to you about that, and also presentation skills. Today, in this session, we are going to talk about debating skills. Now, talking about debating skills, uh, this includes agreeing, of course, disagreeing, interrupting, clarifying and compromising. All these aspects or all these functions become part of debating. We are talking about academic communication, academic transaction and debate includes in that category. Both in everyday life, tra life transactions and academic environment, we need to agree or disagree with others' views. Sometimes we involve in hot debates on various issues. Expressing our assent to an issue is easy. Expressing our assent to an issue is easy. But to dissent from others views is difficult because such in such cases we are required to give a sound explanation of our stand why do we dissent or why do you why do we disagree one has to choose words and expressions judiciously to prevent, to present your standpoint clearly, at the same time we have to guard against causing offense to the listeners. Now, every chance that when we disagree with someone, it has to be done in a very systematic way so that our disagreement will in no way uh, affect the kind of the, the kind of um, causing any different any offense to the listener this has to be taken care of now below are a good variety of expressions I am going to read to you a good variety of expressions used in diverse contexts where you have to agree disagree clarify a point interrupt someone confirm a statement and compromise with someone. Now in your textbook on page 125 we have uh, a table which gives us a detailed description of situations and the expressions and phrases usually used in order to in order to make your standpoint clear. It can be agreeing with someone, disagreeing with someone, maybe you are completely um, clarifying a point or you may be sometimes, uh, maybe sometimes a kind of, you are expressing a kind of a soft disagreement. All these things are given. Now please listen to me when I read them. First, I read 
the sentences or I read the expressions and you tell me the function. What does it do? Does it agree? Does it show agreement? Does it show disagreement? Does it show partial agreement? Does it show soft disagreement? All these things are there. Now, listen to me. Now, first one, I agree entirely with your point of view. I agree entirely with your point of view. I am of exactly the same opinion. I am of exactly the same opinion. I am in total agreement with your stand. See, all these three expressions show, show that you are agreeing with someone who has raised a point, raised an issue or raised an opinion. So this shows strong agreement. The expressions agree entirely. I am of exactly the same opinion. I am, I am in total agreement with you. All these express, expressions show strong agreement. This can be used in a debate. Second one, the second set of sentences. I think we are in agreement on that solution. Once again, I think we are in agreement on that solution. I think you are right. See, it is different from the first one. I think you are right. I think we can accept your position on this issue. Now, all these three expressions show your neutral agreement. Neutral agreement. It is not completely you agree. It is not completely you disagree. It is neutral. I think. I think you are you are correct. No. The third one is I tend to agree with you. Let's see the difference in the expression. I tend to agree with you. I, I agree with you on the whole but I need a little more time to confirm. You see that's a beautiful sentence. I agree with you on the whole but I need a little more time to confirm. Now, what does it show? It shows that you are, you are in partial agreement with the person to whom you are debating with or talking to. Now, the third set of sentences. Please listen. I totally disagree with you. I totally disagree with you. She doesn't agree with, with the proposal at all. She doesn't agree with the proposal at all. You are terribly wrong. You are terribly mistaken about it. Now, very, very, very clear. That is, all these expressions expressions show that you are strongly disagreeing with the issue or with the opinion of the person you are listening to. So, all these three sentences are examples of expressions and phrases used to express strong disagreement. Next one, I am sorry, I can't support your views on this topic, this issue. I am sorry, I can't support your views on this topic. Now, here, it is a, not a very strong disagreement. One, listen to one more sentence. I respect your opinion, however, there are many issues that you could not grasp. See, one more. I really can't agree with you on that. Now here, you are not disagreeing. You are not agreeing. You are a, a disagreeing in a very soft manner. In a very polished manner. See, how, how, language, how language can be used to differentiate situations which are um, which are very crucial now soft disagreement next i am going to read three more sentences and see what kind of what kind of feeling you express there sorry to interrupt but you have missed a vital point from the list once again 
sorry to interrupt but you have missed a vital point from the list i don't want to interrupt but it seems a necessity now actually i don't want to interrupt you but it has become a necessity now another sentence may i add one more point to what you have just given may i add will you allow me to add one more point to what you said see all these are interrupting someone now when somebody speaks nobody likes others to interrupt them naturally you know but there are occasions when me when when we may have to interrupt because uh, in a debate it is interruptions are allowed interruptions are something interruptions are considered something positive so in that way we express our interruption in a polished manner sorry to interrupt i don't want to interrupt but i cannot may i add one more point see all these are ways of interrupting someone next is i wonder if i could comment on the last point you explained one more before we go any further may i point point to the fact that i couldn't catch well what you meant by that term this is actually all the both these sentences are uh, are examples of how you express uh, how how you come in with your comment on what is going on or the issue that is being issue that is being discussed now this commenting next one is perhaps i could resume from where we left with this idea once again perhaps i could resume from where we left with this idea to return to what i was talking about i recap the first point now both these sentences are ways to express coming back after interruption you it is possible that you interrupt someone while the discussion or the debate is going on but the next moment you have to come back to the mainstream and this is how you do it perhaps i could resume from where we left with this idea to return to what i was talking about i recap the first point next one is the next set of sentences perhaps i could answer your question at the end of the session now there is a question question being raised and it is not always good that you add, you try to answer the question at the same moment so what you do is there you express or you put a sentence like this perhaps i could resume from where we left with this idea to return to what have to return to what i was talking about i recap the first point now next is preventing or preventing an interruption now when we are going with a serious discussion we are trying to elaborate on a point after making the statement if someone tries to interrupt you you may have to stop him or her because that interruption is is out of place because when you go further when you when you go on explaining what you are going to you, that that interruption or that question raised by that person may be may not be relevant so you may have, sometimes you may have to stop somebody from interrupting how do you do that perhaps i could answer your question at the end of the session with your permission i would rather finish what i am saying now please allow me to complete what i am talking now because after that you may raise your question so till then please please keep please keep mum so that i would be able to finish what i want to say with respect so another way of expression uh, expressing it with respect i should like to conclude the point i was making and then and then take this up your point or your interruption i will take up the point you raised i will take up maybe at the end of what i have to say now next is asking for confirmation 
you are asking for confirmation am i correct in assuming that you don't you don't back the new policy the new policy by the government the new policy by the reserve bank of india now you are asking am i correct in assuming that you don't you don't back back means support you don't support the new policy if i have understood you correctly you are saying that the use of phone must be banned on campuses is that your is that your point that you are going to establish another one uh, i am sorry i don't quite get your last point could you go over it again could you, could you go over it again will you please repeat because it was not very clear to me now another another one another context is correcting misunderstanding now what you say could be misunderstood by people and from their comment from their reaction you understand that they have somehow misunderstood you how do you make it make good for it now this is the way we seem to be talking at cross purposes that's a beautiful expression we seem to be talking at cross purposes that's not quite what i mean by that statement it is not what i meant by that statement i am afraid my words have been taken in a wrong sense now i think you have misunderstood my statement my intention of making that statement is not like what you understood about it so this is how you correct correct misunderstanding by someone the misunderstanding about a statement you made by someone else we seem to be talking at cross purposes that's not quite what i meant by that statement i am afraid my words have been taken in a wrong sense now offering a compromise you possible that you make a point with some good intentions and it is being refuted it is being it is being uh, disagreed by someone so at last we come to you come to a kind of a compromise what you said is correct what i said is correct only thing is that it was they were the points raised by us were misunderstood by both and let us come to a compromise how do that? how do you do that she is prepared to forgive everything on the condition that you say goodbye to your habit of drinking now drinking because of drinking something something bad happened consequences something bad happened and now uh, drinking uh, in her opinion was bad and drinking from the point of view of the person who had become a kind of an addict to drinking now what he says he is not an, he is not able to understand the bad effects of drinking too much of drinking now you come to a compromise once you stop drinking i think we will be able to discuss because then only you will be un, you will be able to understand what i say she is prepared to forgive everything on the condition that you say goodbye to your habit of drinking i think we could finish the work ahead of time provided that you offer some extra perks now um, in modern in modern industries uh, you, the employers give a kind of target to the employees to finish a particular work and the employees struggle hard to finish it in time and so for it is a demand from the kind of it's a kind of a compromise between the employee and the employer that if you give some extra perks maybe some overtime salary we will be able to finish the finish the project in time this is a compromise i think we could finish the work ahead of time provided that you offer some extra perks extra benefit monetary benefit 
Now, next is accepting a compromise. How do you accept a compromise? It's a decent compromise. You accept it. How do you do that? We are, we see no objection to your suggestion or your compromising, your your compromise, uh, your compromise demand. Now, we see no objection to that your point that seems to be a reasonable compromise yeah we give some extra pay and you finish the work in time it will be good for you it will be good for us so it's a kind of a compromise no? that that seems to be an that seems to be a reasonable reasonable compromise the last is rejecting a compromise sometimes we, uh, we may have to reject a compromise because maybe uh, it is impractical from the part of um, the employee or even sometimes from the part of the employer. Employer is not ready or not, uh, uh, the employer cannot afford to give any extra, extra monetary benefit because of the package is like that. The employee, on the other hand, even if he gets some extra money, extra perks, he will not be physically, it is impossible uh, to finish the project in that particular uh, time, uh, time slot. So, where we say, we are not entirely convinced that this is a viable solution. Now, uh, unfortunately, that compromise you suggested is not practical. We are uh, not entirely convinced that this is a viable solution. That is how you express your um, while rejecting a compromise. And last, although we want to avoid a deadlock, you now we there's a problem, and uh, we want to um, avoid a deadlock, a standstill. There seems to have no way. There seems to have no way. Means we are not able to. Um, we are not able to enter into a compromise or strike at a compromise and that is why it is it is actually rejecting a compromise now i was all this time talking about debating skills debating skills that in debating skills we agree disagree interrupt clarify and compromise if you are able to use these expressions which I was trying to read to you all this time you will be able to participate in a debate it is as an academic exercise debate as an academic exercise you will be able to participate in a debate successfully and you will be scored you will be ranked high so that you will be selected for the particular post for which debating your debating skills are are counted as very very important now uh, we come to the end of this session and perhaps in the next session we are going to have a kind of a revision of the whole module that is module 4 speaking skills i will talk to you or i will consolidate i will try to have a bird's eye view of the whole uh, whole um, module that is uh, module 4 speaking skills in the next session that we are going to meet thank you for listening to me have a nice day keep safe till you till we meet next